Time to check in with mayors around the region and Burlington's Mayor Marianne Mead Ward is back with us. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. We've got Burlington in the news this morning. A vaccine site has been announced among a, a number of them uh, for Halton. So it's at uh, Compass Point Bible Church. It is a huge facility, lots of parking, and our staff are working on a dedicated transit uh, uh, route through so that people can get there if they need transit. Yeah. So stay tuned I'll, on that. Okay, and we'll, is there a possibility of additional sites? There is. Uh, we don't know uh, what those uh, are or when they might come online, but the, the plan for Halton, and of course this is all handled through our public health unit, was to pick one location in each of the four Halton municipalities to get started. And uh, also important that residents can go to any one of them. So if it's closer for you to go to one in, the, in a neighboring municipality, you can do that. Okay. Speaking of region hopping otherwise uh, for restaurants or whatever, uh, is that a problem in Burlington? We are, uh, well, reports from residents are that uh, there's there's lots of lineups, although one resident said the lineups were really high in a grocery store. And I said, you know, grocery stores are open uh, in lockdown areas. They're an essential service. So that's probably just regular Burlington folks getting out and about uh, and there's and there's lineups. But yeah, we we have seen throughout the pandemic people visiting uh, Burlington from other regions. And the good news is, though, that our numbers have consistently stayed down throughout the pandemic. We're we're nowhere near what is in Toronto and Peel, even though we've been next door to them throughout this pandemic. And that's because our residents and our businesses have been taking those precautions and following the advice of public health. Right now, Niagara is hoping to get into the red zone perhaps as early as Friday, but they're, they're looking at uh, is it something like maximum of four people of one household at a restaurant table. Um, have you ever look at that or is it necessary for Burlington? Well, that is the that's the provincial regulation, actually. So that applies to everybody. What we have been advocating for is that restaurant capacity be based on the size of the restaurant, not a hard cap. Right now, it's a hard cap of 10 in any restaurant anywhere in the red zone, regardless of how big you are. And so some of our restaurants don't can't open. They're, they're the bigger ones, they, just, they simply can't open at the hard cap of 10. So we're really hoping the province uh, does the percentage capacity as they did with grocery stores, retail uh, and other, and actually uh, Halton Region did a unanimous resolution asking for that last week. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to some non-COVID stuff. You're teaming up with the city of Hamilton to fight the federal government's plan to uh, ban the public from uh, Canal Piers. Uh, mm -hmm. it, I'm sure you've been getting a lot of feedback from uh, the public on this. Uh, the public is absolutely not on for this, and we are fighting this uh, on their behalf and, and right there beside them. So I was alerted sort of the end of last year by our local MP that this was a discussion by the federal government. I certainly conveyed at that time that this was not something we would support and requested that the Ministry of Transportation work with us. So I did have a meeting with the former Minister of Transport and conveyed that and uh, set up a staff team uh, at the city as well as Halton Region because it's right on the edge of our regional waterfront park. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to Mayor Eisenberger and I know the Hamilton Oshawa Port Authority is involved in those discussions too. So we are going to do our best to uh, present a plan to the federal government that would uh, you know, address their concerns but at the same time keep this open to the public. And, and that, what are the that has to be. Yeah, but what are the concerns for Transport Canada? Where did this start? Safety and liability. So, mm -hmm. you know, the if you've been out there, uh, there, you know, there's some trip hazards. Uh, so people use it at their own risk. There have been times in winter storm weather or in high water weather where the where the piers were actually submerged. So, you know, we all understand that in those situations, it's probably not the best idea to go out there. But that's that's those are few and far between. Closing it off the rest of the time outside of those. Uh, obvious uh, situations is really not helpful. Okay, um, we probably we only have a few seconds left, and I wanted to get into affordable housing because I know you have some new initiatives there. Why don't we put a pin in that, and we'll talk sure. about that and lots more next week. Burlington Mayor, Marianne, yeah, Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. Good to see you. Good to see you, Bob. All right.